I recently released a tool called Neutral Bias, which has quickly become one of the more popular tools on my store. I'm really happy with what it can do, but there were a few limitations that I wanted to improve. For anyone unfamiliar with the tool, the basic idea is that it lets you push a color balance into your image and then selectively sculpt it away from the areas that you don't want affected based on saturation. If you'd like a deeper breakdown, I've linked a more detailed video on screen. One of the first limitations I ran into was with the sat key control. This slider is bi-directional and it can trim the adjustment from either the low saturation or the high saturation areas. The issue is that it enforces a full 100% difference between the most affected and least affected parts of the image. As you move the sat key control, one side of the curve always drops to 0% strength. That can create more colour contrast than you actually want, often forcing you to dial back the overall effect just to bring that contrast to a more reasonable level. The second limitation was colour space compatibility. The first version was designed specifically for DaVinci Intermediate, and there were a couple of small issues too. The curve overlay would change thickness depending on your timeline resolution, appearing thinner or thicker depending on the exact resolution set. And the name Satki wasn't the clearest in terms of what the control actually does. All of these issues have been addressed in Neutral Bias version 2, which is now the default version you'll get when downloading from my store for both the paid and demo editions across both the temp, tint and hue variants. So what's new? First, there's a brand new control called Outside Opacity. This slider lets you control how strongly the master weight areas of the sat mask are blended back into the adjustment. In other words, you can now fine tune the amount of color separation. This gives you much more flexibility when creating stronger looks. For instance, pushing a cool green tint but still being able to control how that tint fades into the less affected areas. Instead of reducing the strength from the top end of the effect, you can now blend it back in from the bottom. You'll also see this visually in the curve overlay. As you increase outside opacity, the previously omitted areas gradually rise in strength. Next is wider color space support. Neutral Bias version 2 now supports Log C3 and Aces CCT in addition to DaVinci Intermediate. Just select the color space that matches your timeline and project settings and the tool will automatically perform the correct operations for that space. There are also a couple quality of life improvements. The curve overlay is now resolution aware so its thickness stays consistent no matter your timeline resolution. And finally, the control that used to be called Sat Key is now Sat Mask, which feels a bit more aligned with the naming conventions of other similar tools. One small but handy reminder is that you can also hover over any slider to see a tooltip that explains exactly what each control does. If you're already a Neutral Bias user, you should have received an email last week with a link to download your free update. If you haven't, please get in touch and I'll make sure you get it. And if you're new to the tool, now is the perfect time to try it out. It's more capable than ever before. You'll find a link in the description that takes you straight to the product page where you can test it out and see exactly how it fits into your workflow. Thanks for watching.